And now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. Starting off with the storm tracker today. We're not seeing any warnings, not seeing any advisories. The only thing that is out there is a special weather statement for up in the Island Park in northern quarter of Idaho. We're seeing a little bit of chances of avalanches out in that region. Not strong enough for an avalanche warning, but enough for you to stay off the trails if you're in the Island Park region or up in that corner. Now, that being said, Storm Tracker itself looking pretty calm in comparison to a lot of those storms that we've seen over the last week and a half. Uh, very weak amounts of snow heading into the Jackson area, and that's what you're going to continue to see all night long. These light snow showers, very scattered, very, not very uniform, very weak compared to anything we've seen. And we're just going to see those continue to make their way through, not just tonight, but into Sunday. And then we'll get a break from that on Monday. Taking a look at the storm tracker, you'll notice not the last amount of moisture, but enough of a gap in between some of these systems that we'll see it through Sunday. And then a little bit of a clear spot behind that. We're going to see a little bit of those clear skies make their way in as we hit right around Tuesday. It'll make its way back in with more of that moisture. Future tracker showing for the most part those scattered showers. Very strong in the early afternoon, but not in the Snake River Plain. We're just seeing those scattered conditions very, very distinct across the entire region, although it's stronger in the mountains. But for the most part, very weak, not really seeing much accumulation from it, just that continued scattered snow. So into the night, Snake River Plain, 20 in Pocatello, 14 in Idaho Falls. So still in those mid-teens, but for the most part, seeing those average to those temperatures that you usually see for this time of the year. Scattered snow in the Central Mountains as well. Much colder though. Those single digits in Mackey, Arco, Ledore, and Stanley with fives and fours. And as we head towards the other side with those highlands in Western Wyoming, scattered snow and once again single digits. Coldest temperature on the map though. Yellowstone at one. And that scattered snow does continue into Sunday. Uh, highlands in Western Wyoming seeing those low to uh, low 20s to upper teens as we make our way forward. More scattered snow in the central mountains as well once again 27 in chalice 30 in salmon and not enough to justify giving you accumulation amounts it's going to be very weak as it moves through and then finally for the snake river plain weaker snow scattered systems but once again still there so 33 in pocatello 30 in Idaho falls expect to see a system a little bit of snowflakes here in there as you head towards tomorrow of course taking a look at that southeast idaho chevy dealer seven day forecast you'll notice that's not the end of it. We do see Sunday with a chance of snow as we head down the week. It comes back for Wednesday with eh, surrounded by some of those scattered conditions as well. Temperatures do relatively stick to those 20s. Sunday is the outlier on that. We're going to see it cool back down as we hit Monday. Idaho Falls following suit with the strongest of it being on Wednesday. The Teton areas also seeing the strongest of it on Wednesday, but Thursday thrown in there as well as well as Saturday. And then finally for the Central Mountains, once again getting a little bit of a break but Monday Wednesday and Thursday being the strongest day for snow so enjoy the nice scattered snow you have right now up in the ski areas because you might want to avoid them specifically on the one day Wednesday where the heavier snow comes through well the day I'm thinking about going skiing again <laughs> but you know it was a little cold today but you know it was it was manageable first time in years and now you want to go again oh yeah oh yeah I've you know I've caught the bug now gotcha. all right